Now, rearrange the photo pieces. This is very interesting. The two photos are of Professor Kinski and Professor Clark. And Professor Kinski is dead. I don't know what to think about this. This is strange. Truly. Pardon me, Anna. But I have guests to attend to and a dinner to prepare. Of course. We shall talk after dinner. Meine Damen und Herren, I have some news I need to share with you. We are cut off from the world. The blizzard was so severe, the only road to the outside is impassable. We should call the municipal authorities. They must come here as soon as possible. The telephone lines are dead, Father. As I said, we are completely cut off. Something similar happened to me in the Himalayas once. I was staying in a small village, and when a blizzard struck, found myself trapped. Oh, what were you doing in the Himalayas, Professor? We were looking for ancient artifacts. Anyway, how long does it usually take to clear the road, Otto? Yeah, a couple of days. Two, maybe three maximum. Siamo guai. Do we have enough food to last that long? There's nothing to worry about, my Italian friend. We can last a month if needed. We have plenty of food and drink. Bellissimo! As long as we have food, the wine, and the beautiful ladies. I am content. Dalmoro, where is the bella Swedish lady? Ah, Ulla. She, Ulla. And where is Dr. Hartman? I hope nothing has happened to either of them. Anna, we should go check on Dr. Hartman. His room was on this floor, room number two. Dr. Hartman is not here. This is strange. Hmm. Maybe Dr. Hartman is with Ulla in her room. A man in a wheelchair couldn't go to the second floor, could he? Yeah, klar. You are right. Anna, could you check Dr. Hartman's belongings? Maybe you will find something interesting. I'm on the case. Great! I found a syringe! Mein Gott! Upstairs! Quickly! Ulla is dead!
This cannot be happening. There is no pulse. Is she dead? Oh my god. Are you sure there is no pulse? Oh my god, what is going on here? Calm down, we need a doctor. Have you found Dr. Hartman? No. We need to know what happened here. How did she die? It looks like another heart attack. A heart attack? Again? This seems suspicious to me. I want to check this room. I found a lighter. This lighter is still hot, as if it was used minutes ago. Do you think someone might have been here? Everything is possible, Otto. We need to find Dr. Hartman. I will try. What is the trouble? Ola is dead. Mein Gott. Where have you been? I... I was exploring the premises. Have you been to Ola's room recently? In a wheelchair? Is it some kind of joke? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... How did she die? We don't know. Claudia says it may be another heart attack. A heart attack, yes. That sounds correct. What do you mean? Never mind. If you have no more questions, then I would like to return to my book. Please excuse me. Anna, come and have some tea near the fireplace. On my way.
Where is everyone? It's late. While we are alone, I want to discuss something with the two of you. Yes? I have been running this hotel for 25 years. I have never seen two people dying. And in two days. And two heart attacks. This is just impossible. I agree with you, Otto. It's very unusual to say the least. Do you believe it is possible to simulate a heart attack? I believe it's quite possible, yes. And who would be able to do so? Someone with medical experience? Exactly. Now, two people were missing at dinner this evening. Ulla and Dr. Hartman. We found Ulla dead in her room. Did you find Dr. Hartman? Yes, I did. And he acted odd. He asked me what happened to Ulla. And when I informed him of her heart attack, he murmured, That sounds correct. I think he is somehow involved in all of this. I agree. But what should we do? I have an idea. If Ulla's heart attack was brought on, then we will probably find something in her room to prove it. We should also examine her body. Let's go then, shall we? Yes, we'll need a magnifying glass. Do you have one, Otto? Oh yes, it should be. Somewhere in the kitchen. Anna, can you go and find it? We will wait for you in Ulla's room. Great! I found a magnifying glass. I found it. Great! Look here. Check Ulla's neck. I think someone injected her. Please, let me. See? She was definitely killed. I'm sure about it. By the way, do you see that liquid on the floor? Yes. Judging by the smell, I would guess it is some kind of acid. We need to pour some baking soda on it. You can find soda in the kitchen. some baking soda. What did I tell you? 
This is acid. I am sure it was somehow used to kill poor Ulla. And Professor Kinski? Do you think he was killed as well? <laughs> That's a good question, Anna. I think we should go and examine his body. Anna, come and see. There are marks on Professor Kinski's neck also. These marks? Hmm. Yes, Anna. These are the same marks we found on Ulla. Professor Kinski has also been murdered. But why? That is something we must find out. Let's inspect his luggage. I can't open it. It has a strange lock. Let me try. This is very strange.